Well, I'm using Spooky Cold Laser. Low level cold laser, whatever you want to call that. Here's Mr. Here's a Goldie the cat. Hey, Goldie. What are you doing? Eh? Eh? I'm going to start licking my finger. Anyway. And, you know, to tell you the truth, I was confused on this. Um, you know, sometimes maybe I read into something too much. That sometimes, you know, I'm a problem when I freaking get too complicated and it's more simple than you think. <laughs> Just like when they change the software and I thought, whoa, this is complicated. No, it isn't. But, um, this is the question I had. You know, I noticed it's putting out on out one and out two. It's actually putting out 20 volts on out one and out two on the generator, right? And you can see it's running. See the blue? The blue is running on there. You got both on. They're both putting out. But I only have it connected to out one because it flat out states in the instructions, do not use boosted output from Spooky Boost. You can also use just out one of your spooky boost, but you're just using out one. And um, like when you're showing the pictures on the instructions, out one. See, just one out output. That's what I'm using. Well, out one, right there. Out one. So I don't know. I don't know why the hell it's got power going to out two though. That's kind of weird. But maybe they got maybe they got an update. Because I got the latest um, software on here, but that's the question. Now, the easiest way to do this is you take shell empty presets, and that's what I pretty much do on everything. And I always take a JW setting myself, but do whatever you want. I just take the John White ones. Spooky Cold Laser. And then it tells you in here, you know, what it is. Um, now, there's a couple different versions of this thing. I got the one that goes on the wrist. But um, I choose Immune System Stimulation, a proven set, which is, um, who is that that did that? But he tested, he tested all the um, uh, consolidated annotated frequency list settings, and he made a shorter list, a proven set, that works. He showed that they demonstrated them will work over and over and over again quite well. So I took this Immune System Stimulation. So I'm running it right now. Um, just you know, what I was just wondering is how come you got out one and out two both putting out power when you're only supposed to connect it to out one? I was like, I don't know. That's just how it is, man. But uh, there's two versions of this thing, so I'm using that kind, which is this. And you can see behind my wrist there, maybe you can see that a little bit, flashing light. See? There's the laser going on. Now, if you don't use the wrist kind. Um, they got the, they got another kind that has like wands. Um, I'm showing all kinds of wild ways. Yeah, these are the wands right here. If you're using these wands, you don't want to look at that light. You want to use these really dark glasses. And you don't want everybody else to look at the lights, including your cats or your dog or anybody else. So, um, what this does though, is it basically boosts the ATP in your blood and I thought and that's pretty cool um, basically here it says it right here the laser beam energy uh, additionally besides you know probably knocking out my pathogens because of the frequencies that are being used uh, increases ATP synthesis by enhancing electron transfer in the inner membrane of the micro mitochondria now there's another way with nutrition you can in increase ATP the supplements alpha lipoic acid and l carnitine acetyl l carnitine it's a protein and alpha lipoic acid which is a very powerful antioxidant combined plus coq10 because as you uh, increase your ADP, atp your coq10 is used up in your body you take those three supplements which is alpha lipoic acid um, acetyl l carnitine and coq10 that can increase the atp in your body it's good because a lot of people don't have energy. ATP is your energy. It's the thing that's transferring, you know, I got this technically wrong, but it helps um, transfer the oxygen in and out of your mitochondria in your cells. So this uh, this is what this is helping to do with this laser light, and I have it on the immune system stimulation. It accelerates collagen 
synthesis by increasing DNA and RNA synthesis enhances fibroblast activity and increases the ability of immune cells to ward off so I put immune system stimulation frequencies invading pathogens by increasing the activity of leukocytes which is white blood cells and macrophage cells it's another immune cells so we shall see <laughs> I mean I don't know man uh, I think it's, it's not much money, though. That's the thing. I, I, you know what? I got. I should tell you what it I, what it is right here, but I'll post on it what it is. But you have to have the equipment first. You have to have the generator first. But the laser light is not much money, not at all. And he's already got the presets in here. And I made myself. Uh, I saved a custom program, um, immune system stimulation proven. I actually saved a custom program, so I have it in the user defined. I think it's in user to find someplace. Well, I don't know where it is. But I have it in there someplace. Anyway, but um, that's a that's a wrap and we're gonna give this out stiff a try. And um, you know, anything that gives you more energy to me is the right thing to do. Of course I'm getting pop up messages from my yeah, this is a Windows XP computer, by the way. This I got this computer just a few weeks ago. It's like a reconditioned new hard drive. I don't like Windows 10. I don't like Windows 8. Windows 7 is okay with classic shell. But, you know, the beauty of this program is it's a nice, you know, spooky 2 program. You can run it on an XP. You're probably best off getting an XP computer and if you're going to have this, you know, run it on a separate computer for a couple hundred bucks, you know, just run it. You don't need nothing fancy. That's the other beauty of this program too. You don't need nothing. You don't need anything fancy. And uh, I opted for not using these because um, I figure it's easier just to wear this, you know. And uh, it'll treat all your blood and stuff. You can see the red, red light going on in there. And um, you know, I don't have to hold anything. <laughs> it's like it's just strapped on your wrist. So I opted for the wrist thing, the wrist version versus the wand version. But the wand version, there's a lot of cool things you could do with that. I think they got an acne program. And I don't know what this is for your nose, sinus congestion. Not sure if your ears, sinus, ear, ear infections. Um, but basically, probably a lot of different skin conditions too probably can be addressed with this. And, you know, that's really like if you go into like some of these places. Now, I don't know if it does this, but um, since it does help with collagen, I'd imagine it could probably address skin issues. I'd assume so. That's kind of a guess on my part, but I would assume it would. Like eight spots or something like that, or problems you got with your skin. Helping healing, scarring, things like that, because this is supposed to help healing. So... Found it to be pretty interesting, and we're going to give it a try right now. If you've got any comments, questions, because i got questions, too, because I'm kind of wondering why it's got output on both outputs, but you're supposed to use one output. Eh, I don't understand that, but it says right in here, you need instructions. Do not use boosted output from Spooky Boost. Um, plug the other end of the adapter directly into out one, just out one, and... You can see that they're showing any instructions out one only, no boost. So that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. Immune system stimulation directly on the blood supply, and we'll see what happens.